guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be swatching through the China Glaze Trolls World Tour collection, which is their spring 2020 collection. I purchased this collection at a couple of places because I wanted to buy a few sets of it. Surprise! This is a double giveaway. I have two full sets of the China Glaze Trolls World Tour collection to give away. So I purchased three sets. One for me to swatch and the other two haven't been touched. If you would like to learn how you can enter win this giveaway, just hang on until the end and I will explain all the rules to you. So I purchased the collection both at 88beauty.com and at polishpick.com. I will link both of those websites down in the description bar below. So there are eight polishes in this collection. We have a mix of colors and formulas here. So we're gonna go in alphabetical order and I wanna first tell you what's on my lips. This is a Wet n Wild Mega Last Stained Glass lip gloss. I've been loving these guys. I picked up I think five colors. They were on a buy one get one half off kind of scenario so it's very budget friendly and this color is called Handle With Care. So I'm going to be swatching everything at two coats today. Some of them you are going to want a third and I'll definitely let you know when we get there. So we're going to start out with one of the creams. There are four straight cream formulas. We have a lot of bright vivid wild colors here today which is exciting and fun. So the first one is a turquoise, it's like a muted turquoise cream, it's called Can't Stop Branchin, and I think Branch kind of has this color skin tone, so that's probably why they named it that, and this is a beautiful, just plain cream formula. China Glaze formula is always a little bit runny for me, so you kind of have to chase the formula a little bit, especially with their creams. I think it's because they add a lot of thinner to their polishes, to be honest with you, but once you get the hang of how the polishes work, you can kind of maneuver around that. So this first one, Can't Stop Branching. I did two coats. The next polish is one of the more interesting in the collection. This is the matte polish. It's also a high shimmer polish, but this is definitely on the sheer side. That means that you could both use it as a topper or you could wear it on its own depending on how strong your visible nail line is. My visible nail line is very strong, so you're definitely gonna see it show up on my full hand swatch just because there's not quite enough pigment in the base of this to cover that. Some people don't mind that at all. You're just seeing it a lot on me because I have, like I said, I have a very strong visible nail line. But this also dually is really great as a topper. So you could put this over a lot of different colors in this collection. I'm gonna show it to you over something else in the collection today so you can see what I'm talking about. This one's called Chill in Symphonyville and the shimmer is a blue to pink to gold shimmer. It's like kind of barely golden on the edges, but I thought this one was really pretty. I appreciated that they put a matte formula in here. I think it looks pretty cool. So that is the second polish in the collection. we have this sherbet orange shade and this is another straight cream formulation it is called Delta Darlin I haven't seen the movie yet so I don't know what the reference point is so Delta Darlin again I'm just going to show you two coats here and this one is a straight cream there's no shimmer or glitter in it or anything and by the way you may have noticed if I have anything that I think is similar enough to this polish that you might want to see if it's dupe worthy I include that after the macro shot. So I have a few things to share with you so you can see how they compare to Delta Darlin. Next up we have this beautiful ultraviolet cream. This one is called Funky Beat. And this one is another of the same formula of the turquoise and the sherbet that we looked at. This is a straight cream, no shimmer or glitter and I'm gonna do two coats as with everything else. Finish it off with top coat. You don't need a macro shot really of any of the creams. I haven't done that, but I've definitely included some comparisons for you of this color. It's a really bright, beautiful, almost neon based kind of cream purple. have one of the other probably most popular polishes in the collection because it is a hollow glitter bomb. This is a silver hollow and it's just a micro glitter. It's a very dense micro glitter. This has um, much less runny of a base than any other polish in the collection probably because they want you to be able to wear it as a full coverage glitter bomb. You could use it as a topper. I'm going to show you that way as well but I'm going to show you how this builds up on its own. This one is called Glitterific. Glitterific. And if I was going to wear this on its own, I'd wear it at three coats. I just showed you two coats today, and then I showed you one coat over another polish in the collection. 
it does have a beautiful high hollow gleam. Um, but I found this cut for this glitter was maybe a little bit on the coarser side than other things that I'm used to. So that it looked almost like they were going for like a grunge rock kind of glitter. That was just my impression of it. It felt like very coarse and maybe not as finely cut as some other glitters. I'm used to working with a lot of indie polishes and indie polish components. And this one just almost felt like a textured polish. Like it almost felt like a very rough kind of textured finish. You might want a lot of like glitter food kind of top coat, just a very thick top coat or a couple coats of it. So this one is Glitterific. Next up we have this awesome limey spring green and this one is called It's All Techno. And this is another cream formula. This one out of the creams was the sheerest. I would definitely recommend three coats on this one. It's a really cool color, but this one was also the runniest. Um, so maybe a lot of thinner went into this batch, I'm not sure. But it's a very cool shade, so if you want to work with a little bit of a trickier formula, um, this one is such a fun color. I will show you a few things to compare to it though. So I showed you two coats of It's All Techno. My final photo though was three coats on this one. Next up we have the one jelly polish out of the collection. This is a beautiful red shade. This one's called No Holds Barb. And this one is a lovely red jelly. Red pigment is very strong. So oftentimes you could have another color in the exact same formula and it won't get as opaque as a red polish does. But it's a really lovely juicy red jelly. I do have a number of polishes like this at this point, but I did think that this was really pretty and I thought it was a fun compliment to the collection. So definitely a fun power red for the collection. And last up we have another one of the prettiest polishes in the collection. Definitely this one will be a bestseller, I think. This is a beautiful pink with tons and tons of shimmer, and it's a high shimmer content, so it's really sparkling off the nail. This one is called Pink in Poppy, and it has kind of like a fuchsia to gold shimmer in that pink, and it's really beautiful. It has one of the best formulas out of the collection as well. Shimmer kind of makes something more opaque because it thickens the base a little bit, so it's less on the runny side, and I just think it is a really beautiful polish. I think they did great with this one. So Pink and Poppy is the final polish in the collection. That's all eight pieces. Now it's time for the giveaway. So we're gonna have two giveaways. I will be picking two winners out of the comment section of this video using a random number generator. I will pick the winner in about a week. That way it gives plenty of people a chance to enter the giveaway and I will comment on your comment to let you know that you're the winner. So check back in about a week and see if you're the winner and then you and I can contact each other and I can find out where to send your polishes. So you can enter to win the entire eight piece collection. All you need to do is be subscribed to this channel and then I just need you to comment to me what your favorite style of music is. I would love to know. Music is one of the probably three most important things in my life and I would love to know what kind of music just really does it for you. So please comment down below. If you don't want to comment about music, you can leave me any kind of comment you want to, but I would love to know what your preference is. So thanks you guys for being here for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you back again very soon. Bye.